Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hobium Free Crypto channel. Today's video is focused on an update for Cardano. We've got uh, some news to cover, we've got some prices to recap and of course some timeframes as well, especially with smart contracts coming out in the next two months, hopefully. So we'll get into that today, plus a few of the FUD articles that are circulating the market, which I see as possible good buying opportunities should they affect the price of ADA. Because long term, we want to be able to stack as much ADA as possible and then stake it in staking pools like the one I have with the Investor Accelerator. You can find a link to that down below to earn passive income. At the end of the day, I believe that's what most people want to get from cryptocurrency is some sort of financial freedom. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you've hit subscribe. We're nearly at 200,000 subscribers. Absolutely crazy. And like the video up if you find some value from it. It does help the channel in the YouTube algorithm and push this content to more viewers. If you are new here, check out the Cardano playlist just down here on the homepage of my channel. Plus, we have several other videos on Cardano. In particular, there was a realistic price target for Cardano. Now, I do like to talk about both sides of the equation and I'm not just full of the hopium telling you it's going to reach $10 by the end of the year. I want to be a little more conservative with my approach because I want to be in this game long term and not get burnt out by unrealistic price targets in the short term. So with that noted, let's move across into some of the articles. We've got an update from Grayscale. They have total assets under management of $33 billion, one of the biggest crypto trust funds in the space. And they don't have Cardano listed as their trusts. However, this is coming. It's one of their investments that they're currently exploring. So this is for potential products, as you can see just down here. And then they've also got Cardano listed in their digital large cap fund. Now that covers about 70% of the market along with Bitcoin, ETH, Bitcoin Cash, Chainlink and Litecoin with Cardano rounding out those cryptocurrencies. So it is getting traction and part of the good news as well is Cardano to become a mainstream crypto like BTC and ETH. Now this is from a portfolio strategist, Amy Arnott from Morningstar. She believes that Cardano could win over mainstream investors to join Bitcoin and Ethereum. According to the portfolio strategist, US financial service firm, Cardano could join Bitcoin and Ethereum to form the big three mainstream assets. I might argue that maybe there'll be a big four because Doge is a mainstream asset. I'm not saying it's a fantastic project, but it is definitely a mainstream name. You ask someone, they'll know Bitcoin, they'll know Dogecoin, maybe Ethereum, maybe Cardano as well. So maybe we have the top four there. Either way, it's this is looking like she wants it to go mainstream, especially as more institutions are coming on board to purchase ADA, as we just saw with uh, the Grayscale trust funds as well. She believes that the growing crypto exposure among institutions could see other assets go mainstream. Now, she also talks about government crackdowns on crypto that, that could pose a risk to them. I've talked about this before in case the price heavily drops. In particular, we're coming up to smart contracts and if something doesn't go to plan, that generally spooks the market. I want to be prepared. I'm just sharing my thoughts with you guys. You might have different thoughts about this. You might think the price will never fall. Let me know in the comments down below what you think the lowest price we'll see of Cardano during this downtrend of the market. But if we do get something like this, government crackdowns, this is from a portfolio strategist, uh, maybe that could spook the market or spook crypto and Cardano in particular. Maybe they'll look to sue them like what's happened with XRP. We just don't know what would happen. But long term, I think they'll make it out, especially as we've seen the likes of EOS pay their way through the, the suing from the SEC. So 24 million. Look, these companies are tens of billions of dollars now. This won't even hurt their, their bottom line at all. So if this was to happen, I don't see it as a problem, but I do see the price falling because of this sort of news, which to me is just a better time to buy low and then wait for the markets to rise. Obviously, we want to be buying as cheap as possible, but of course, it does come with the pain of seeing our portfolios drop. That's just part of the game. Now, what else could make the price drop? Well, if they don't release smart contracts by October 1st, that might spook the market as well. But Again, I just see it as another opportunity to buy a little lower. So we'll keep following that. And this is an interesting one to see. Will Cardano support smart contracts on mainnet by October 1st, 2021? It has come in quite substantially. We're still 54 to the no's and 46 to the yes. So more people are saying that Cardano won't make 
their date by October 1st, whereas when it first came out in uh, on July 16th, there was a lot of people saying, no, Cardano won't make it, but it's, it has closed in quite a lot as we get closer to that date. Now onto some of the projects which are working on Cardano. They're starting to release some of their next versions. Charlie, we are close to a version two to integrate with others on Alonzo White. So they are an Oracle project building on Cardano. This is good news. We got some projects getting built. We know that there are other projects as well coming in, uh, DEXs, and of course now the Oracle. So this is good stuff. At least we're getting some development coming through to Cardano. I also do a lot of reading that isn't specifically crypto related. And this is just in the investment space. So take it with a grain of salt if you want. Otherwise go and read the articles for yourself. This is with Property Share Market Economics. Uh, this is the guys that have written The Secret Life of Real Estate and Banking who have called the markets very well through using the 18.6 year cycle. And that has over 230 years of data. So. I'm looking at this just to keep it high level, Elon Musk throwing out a whole lot of satellites into space. How has this got anything to do with Cardano? I'm just pinching just a tiny bit here. I'm not throwing a whole lot onto it. But if we're going to get a ton of pizza box sized satellite dishes in the internet, uh, in, the, in space from Elon Musk, this I think will help Cardano and make it a lot easier for them to roll out their projects in Africa and South America so they don't have to go up putting up towers everywhere or using whatever inf internet infrastructure they have on the ground. I'm not saying this will happen tomorrow, but if Cardano is to take some market share back from the likes of Ethereum, which is really far ahead, we just have to be honest here, then these sorts of things might help the, the cause down the track, especially if they're trying to connect Africa and connect South America and all these other places that don't have access to uh, banking and telephone services. I'm just piecing a couple of the things here together as high level outlook on the future. So I just see this as something that could help Cardano, which I don't know if would uh, we would actually see it talked about in the Cardano space. But yeah, if we got a lot of satellites floating around in space, I don't know how it's going to go with our health, but it could do very well for Cardano in the long term. Now onto the price. Let's update it from where we were just a couple of weeks ago. We're at $1.27 today. This is my time frame chart. We are basically on point here. I got nine weeks. You would notice this from the video I did a month ago and I did an update just a week and a half ago. I was looking for a nine week turn. We got that at around eight weeks. So if we measure from the top to this point, there's our nine weeks uh, and we got it at around 10 weeks. You can see the low came in last week and now we've shot up. So that's a good start. I'm not saying that we're going to go to new all-time highs from here. The pattern doesn't suggest that just yet, but there is another point I've got out here in around November. Maybe we get some sort of higher low, which is also a good sign as well. Maybe the market does run up and we come back to test some of these levels here at around $1.80 and then come back down, probably scare people, but at least it's a higher low than what we've seen through these levels. That's also a bullish sign. I've also got my two areas of accumulation. You might want to play these as go in harder if the market ever made it into the 40 cents to a dollar. Some people think it's crazy, I know, but I want to be prepared. So that's the way I would plan it. I would start to dollar cost averaging harder through these areas and not as hard through the dollar to a dollar 50, only because we've seen it in this area for so long. So that's one strategy I've got here, plus the time frame which we've looked at as well. 28 weeks is a nice number. It's uh, half a year, especially when we've seen Cardano do a lot of 50 to 60 week moves. So 28 weeks is about half of that. Now looking at it on a closer scale. So these are our, uh, this is our weekly chart and then we'll move it down into the, the, the daily. We have broken through on a log these highs. So that's a really good sign for Cardano. Uh, we've got the break of the high and then we came back and retested the downtrend. That's a good thing. And then we moved up from it. What we need to do from this point is the next 50% level, which is at $1.70. So that's the next area that I'm looking for. We are playing with the 50% at the moment, the $1.26. That just means that the market is still undecided. I'm not going to get too cocky or too excited about a move up from a dollar to a uh, dollar forty-seven, which has now come back to a dollar twenty. We definitely want to see consolidation above these resistance levels. Some people just FOMO into anything, but I want to see some confirmation first. If you've got a different plan, let me know in the comments down below. That's just the way I play the markets to stay safe longer term, and obviously survive in the markets. A lot of people lose money. The big thing I see here is no money. Just the volume has completely died out and on every move, we're just getting less and less volume. Different story on the daily, 
which showed a fair bit of volume at the low and then also at yesterday's bar, which spiked out and then dropped. So I'm a little concerned on that because that could be seen as buyers taking profit. It could be seen as just a short squeeze because we got a low close, meaning that there just wasn't a sustained move to the upside. That's why I want to see some more confirmation at higher prices. Now, the other chart which we always look at is the BTC chart. And now the BTC chart has proven my worst fears, which is the ADA price falling against Bitcoin, meaning that Bitcoin is has more value in it at the moment. So this has just been on a downtrend since the 16th of May. And we just broke down again from the last couple of days. And uh, some volume is coming in, but at the same time, we want to see a base start to form. And there's just no base at the moment. We just started to fall off the cliff a little heavier. But because we were prepared and we've been talking about this for months, we have our zone here that we uh, expect ADA to fall into against Bitcoin. So between 2,000 and about 3,000 Satoshis. That's going to keep me on the safe side of things. I'll start to look for a bottom forming. Maybe we'll come up to some of the resistance levels and call that support, as in the market falling from here, finding the 50% or a little lower. That would be ideal. And then this is a good buy zone. That doesn't mean that the US dollar price won't go up if Bitcoin's going up. It's just that we want to be buying these cryptocurrencies when they are low against Bitcoin as well. What I'm looking at here is uh, finding a bottom on ADA BTC and then the ADA USD is just uncertain. It's trending sideways. It keeps peaking out at tops with lower moves to the upside. So I want to see some more strength come into the upside. Ideally, break and close above the $1.50 level and then start to form a base up there. That is a good sign and I would assume by that stage, the ADA BTC price would also start to support itself and then start to move a little bit higher as well, if not at least just trend sideways so we're not losing value against the the Bitcoin value as well. So that's why I'm seeing ADA at the moment for a long-term investment. Some people might want to trade this from the lows to the highs and make yourself 10, 20, 30%. But if I'm looking at this from a long-term perspective, then I'm waiting to see a bottom come in and then confirmation that the bottom has been put in. I don't see a value in buying this all the way down when I don't see a bottom in just yet. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you want to stay in contact, the Patreon membership is still open. There's about 190 left of the discounted price. So the early adopters, 33% off. Otherwise, after this 500 is gone, the price goes up to $80 Aussie or 59 US. So make sure you check that out. There is a link to this in the description down below. Follow me on Instagram, and on Twitter, crypto news and q and over there on Instagram. I'll see you guys at the next video. But before then, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, all that good stuff. Catch you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.